This is the solution to written homework 013. So this question is about the extreme value theorem. So for part A, so let's consider F from 0 to 1 to the reals. Uh, and let's give it by f of x is x. Then uh, the function looks like this. So this function uh, this function has no maximum. So this function has no max uh, because <clears throat> this set right here that's the uh, the image of the function and there is no maximum element. There's no maximum element in that set. So it also has no min, but having no max uh, is enough. Okay, part B. Why must uh, the domain be bounded? Okay, well. So how about F from reels to reels by, again, the identity function. So in this case, the function looks like just the whole thing. So that means that this whole y is the image. So this has no max. <clears throat> and then how about part C? We could do um, so let's let's put f on a closed and bounded set. So f from uh, zero to one to to the reals, and let's do this by the definition. F of x is uh, x if x is um, anything but the right endpoint and it's zero uh, otherwise. And if you plot this then this function is zero and then we come up here and miss that point and then it's defined to be down here. So there's a function that is uh, defined on a closed and bounded interval, but it fails to be continuous at the right endpoint, and this has no max. And of course, you can turn all of these upside down, and then those have no min. <laughs>